Hey, what's good, fam? It's Kyle Henderson of BamaInsider.com coming to you from beautiful Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Today, we're talking about a couple sophomores that could have breakthrough seasons in 2021. But before we get going, definitely the thumbs up, like, subscribe. We appreciate you more than you know. Now, we posted a video just a couple days ago talking about Bryce Young, and he's our first player that we're going to talk about today in this video. Hit the card up at the top right to watch our full breakdown on Bryce Young, who enters the 2021 season as Alabama's starting quarterback. Now, last season, very small sample size, 156 yards, just 13 to 22 passing. Forget that. I think you got to look to the spring season when you talk about Bryce Young. He was very productive in each of Alabama's scrimmages. And then in Alabama's A-Day, he was the A-Day MVP, throwing for 333 yards with one touchdown. I think from everything that we saw from Bryce Young, he has a good escape ability. He's able to make quick throws, quick reads, and he's going to be just fine entering the season, taking over for Mac Jones. Big shoes to fill, but I think Bryce Young is going to do a lot better than people anticipate. Remember, when Steve Sarkeesian went out and recruited Bryce Young, he saw something special in the five-star talent. It goes much further than just being a five-star talent. You got to be able to have that innate ability to make plays. You got to have an ability to read defenses. And most importantly, you got to be a straight playmaker. Bryce Young checks all those boxes. Moving on. Player number two, Javon Baker. Last season, only two receptions for 15 yards. And I think every time we post a story or a video about Javon Baker, everybody's like, he needs to learn how to block. That was one play. You can't judge a player based off one particular play. You got to look at the entire season. Again, small sample size. So you fast forward to the springtime. And I think people are going to point to the fact that he only recorded one reception for four yards during a day. But if you look to this spring season as a whole, Javon Baker was one of the wide receivers that really made a breakthrough during that spring period. He had two touchdowns in each of the first two scrimmages, and I think that Bryce Young and Javon Baker have a good chemistry. At least that's what people close to the program tell us. So Javon Baker has an opportunity this year with Devontae Smith and Jalen Waddle leaving to really rise up. You look to Alabama's receiving room, John Mechie returns, but other guys have to step up. Could it be Javon Baker? Could it be Ajay Hall, the new freshman who certainly turned heads during A-Day? Well, we're going to have to wait and see just how good Javon Baker is. Keep an eye on him during his sophomore season, especially during those first couple games. You look to playmakers, Javon Baker has that ability as well. Jace McQuellen is the next player we're talking about, and really two running backs back-to-back because we're also going to talk about Roydell Williams. Jace McQuellen, last season, finished the year with 245 yards and a pair of touchdowns in 12 games that he played for Alabama. I think when you look to Alabama's running back room, it's entirely loaded, right? From top to bottom with Brian Robinson returning. Trey Sanders coming back. He's going to be healthy this year. And then you have Killen Robinson, who's now listed as a running back and a wide receiver. With that said, Alabama has two very talented sophomore running backs. Jace McQuellen, I think, is capable to actually be the guy if needed this year. He's that talented. And then don't forget about Hueytown, Alabama native Roydale Williams. Some people would say that Roydell Williams actually surpassed Jace McQuellen this springtime. I guess we're going to have to wait for the actual season to begin to see how that roster shakes down when we look at the running back room. But Roydell Williams is a name to not forget about. 5'10", 210 pound back. He had 43 yards rushing off 12 carries and recorded four receptions for 65 yards during Alabama's A-Day. I don't think it's about who's going to start. I think when you look to the depth overall, it's important that Alabama has quality depth behind some of their upperclassmen vets at that running back position. So Jace McQuillan, Roy Dell Williams, who knows? Maybe that's the next big-time duo at Alabama. Let's switch to the defensive side of the ball and talk about two players. We're not going to talk about Malachi Moore or Brian Branch in this particular video because those guys already had breakout seasons last year. We'll go more in depth on those players as we continue to knock out our player profiles. But two players that you should know about, kind of breakthrough players, Tim Smith and Drew Sanders. Let's start with Tim Smith, six foot four, 320 pound defensive tackle who recorded 14 tackles, played in nine games, and he also had two sacks last year, including a forced fumble. With Christian Barmore leaving Alabama for the NFL, Alabama is going to need some interior pass rush. The big nasties to come straight up the middle of the field, stop the running backs, get after the quarterbacks. And I think Tim Smith has that ability written all over him. 
Alabama has so much depth at the defensive line unit, probably more depth than anybody in the country, quality depth as well. But Tim Smith is a name that should certainly be on opposing offenses' radars because he's going to be a problem. I promise you, Tim Smith, certainly a name to know. Look for him to have a giant breakout season. The next player we're going to talk about on the defensive side of the ball that's going to be a sophomore is Drew Sanders, outside linebacker. Now, recently, there was some smoke on social media that said, watch for him to potentially be entering the transfer portal. That was just smoke. Drew Sanders dialed in, locked in. Now, look, with Alabama returning William Anderson and Chris Allen on the outside, it's going to be tough for Drew Sanders to earn a starting spot. But with that said, Drew Sanders is certainly going to get more playing time than he got last year. There's going to be a lot of competition for the six foot five, two hundred and thirty pound outside linebacker because you have some of the younger players also that are chomping on the bit. Chris Roswell, who had a fantastic spring period, Cordarius Robinson, and don't forget about incoming freshman Dallas Turner. A lot of people want to see Drew Sanders get on the field. He has the athleticism. Remember, he played both sides of the football back in high school, was a very productive tight end. But I think we just need to be patient. I think sometimes when you look to these freshmen or sophomores, we immediately want to see instant results when sometimes it takes a player a little bit longer to get on the field just because of the players playing in front of him. Example, William Anderson, Chris Allen, both those guys. You can't sub those guys out right now. Those guys are playing at an extremely high level. So Drew Sanders being a number two outside linebacker going into his second season, not a bad spot to be at. So just be patient when you talk about a player, Drew Sanders, or when you question why isn't he getting on the field as much as you would hope for him to be It's early. Be patient. Okay. I want to hear from you inside the comment box regarding some sophomores that are returning to Alabama for this 2021 season. Guys that really haven't had that really breakout year yet. Which player do you feel is going to be that sophomore that really rises up? Do you think it's going to be straightforward? Do you think it's going to be Bryce Young? Or do you think it's going to be wide receiver Javon Baker? Maybe switching to the defensive side. Is it going to be all Tim Smith or Drew Sanders? And again, we omitted adding Malachi Moore and Brian Branch because those guys, um, you know, had productive freshman seasons. Basically, they're starters. And we're going to have specific videos on each of those players here coming up by Trey Yandity of BamaInsider.com. Thanks for watching again. Definitely hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe. We appreciate you more than you know. We'll be back with another video right here on BamaInsider.com.